and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Amy, and if you want to subscribe, that would honestly mean the most to join me on my little YouTube journey. And if you are a regular, then welcome back. Welcome back, I know you've missed me, because obviously you're back again, but I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So today's video, if you couldn't already tell by the title, is how I do my eyebrows. I've had this requested so much in the comments of my YouTube and on Instagram. So I thought I'd just come on to here and show you my routine. I mean, I don't think it's anything special, but I guess to someone else it could be, you know, a new routine that they want to try and it could work for them. So I'm here with the brow routine, giving it to you guys and gals. So yeah, um, the next clip will be me. Uh, no eyebrows filled in, full face of makeup, just no eyebrows and looking very strange. So yeah, enjoy. So literally the ingredients that I use for the brows are literally so simple. I've got them all down here because I'm all prepared. Um, I'm doing it on my lap because you know, casual. So you will need a bar of soap. <laughs> This one's a bit gross. Um, this one's from, oh my God, it's got a hair in it. This one's from, I feel like this is a body shop soap. I can't remember. Then I've got a L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Expert. So it's literally like a dark brown, dark brown thingamajig, um, a spoolie, which is actually disgusting. Um, yeah, that's embarrassing. Some concealer, I've got hair everywhere. Some concealer and then like a little shaping brush. Again, disgusting. I haven't cleaned my brushes for a very long time, as it's shown. And you'll need some hairspray. So, as you can probably see, my brows are looking fine. So what I will do is literally just give them a brush So to start with, I will just brush through my brows. If I keep looking down here, it's literally just a cover because I've got a mirror. And then I'll give them a little, just make sure that they're all brushed like you would your hair. And then you want to grab your soap and hairspray. That's got my thumb. Spritz that a little bit and get your dirty spoolie and just kind of like make a paste. Some people did set and spray. It literally, what I used set and spray to start with. And then I saw someone on TikTok um, do it with hairspray and it makes it last so much longer. So give it a go with hairspray because it's a game changer. And then I literally just brush this through my brows to shape them how I want. So sometimes um, I'm feeling a bit sparse, so I'll go like for a real electrifying look, but today I just kind of feel like a bit, a bit more natural looking. So I'll just brush them this way. And honestly, the hairspray just sticks all of the hairs down. I'm gonna bring you closer. Oh, hello. <gasps> Always get lipstick on my You do have to make sure you like brush them quick because the hairspray then does start to set and makes them harder to brush. So that's, I, I'm aware I need to <laughs> shave, not shave, um, pluck these brows. They are very badly unplucked, but um, just haven't really been bothered. I quite like the bushy, messy look. Plus once you get the concealer on, you literally cannot see. So yeah, that's how I brush them. I'm happy with the shape. So I just add a bit more hairspray and do the same for the other eyebrow. I know that eyebrows are meant to be sisters and not twins, but honestly, every day I have, 
I've got hair on my, I always get hair somewhere. Every day I have the issue of one of my brows not, like my brows just not looking identical and it's just like really annoying. Um, so yeah, that's a daily struggle for me. And um, it does my head in, like literally does my head in. Uh, at the front, I do tend to like just brush them upwards a bit and yeah, I'm quite happy with both of them. A lot of people are probably watching this like, oh my gosh, she's doing her brows um, after everything, but it doesn't actually bother me. I wouldn't normally do them like literally after I've done everything else. But I actually normally do my brows um, after my foundation anyway. So I'll do my foundation, contour, concealer, you know, highlight. And then, oh, my hair. Ooh, what's going on there? And then I will, um, I'll put my eyeliner on or my eyelash glue, because I put my eyelash glue on my eyelid as well for extra stickiness. And while that's setting, like going tacky, that's when I do my eyebrows. Um, so yeah, it doesn't bother me, but obviously everyone's got different routines. So mine is to do mine halfway through my makeup. Anyway, I'm going in with the brow pencil and I'm literally just gonna be doing light strokes with the way the hair is like facing. This is such a flattering angle. And then yeah, basically just filling it in until I'm satisfied. So yeah, I struggle to actually talk through this stage because I concentrate. So I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna give you some really nice music to listen to. Cue the music. They look a little bit messy i'm pretty sure mine do at the moment the front on one of them i'm really not happy with and it's actually like it's actually pissing me off yeah they will look messy maybe depends on your artistic skills but this is where the concealer comes in and honestly the concealer let me tell you will be your best friend um because it just solves all my problems it takes my eyebrows from a strong three to a strong seven so yeah you then want to go in with the concealer and underline under the eyebrow and then just brush that neatly underneath and literally just cleans it it even kind of hides you know if you haven't plucked your brows like me it kind of hides that too um but yeah getting all glammed up for a quiz this evening um because what else is there to do makeup for these days hey so i was just sorting out my eyeliner there it's not an eyeliner tutorial amy it's a eyebrow tutorial right <laughs> that is that eyebrow done that is now the eyebrow done. So now I'm gonna conceal the other one and pray that, you know, they still look okay after the conceal because, you know, you can only pray. Okay, I think, I think I'm happy with, with them. Um, I, th I just had a feeling I was gonna have a bad brow day today of all days when I was gonna film this. But to be fair, oh Jesus, let's move you back. But to be fair, they've actually done me proud and behaved, and I'm not too not too mad. Let's just bring you. The camera quality is just marvellous. I need to put more mascara on this eye because uh, you can see my natural lashes. But that is 
my brow routine has been highly recommended i don't i don't even know why i don't even think my brows are that great um but yeah also as well with my brows the only treatment that i kind of do with my brows i i normally would get it done well actually i've never actually had it done elsewhere but i've actually started doing it myself i bought a little lamination brow kit and um some tint from ilior and about maybe every two weeks i will tint my eyebrows and laminate them and honestly if you like this look the laminated brow look then it just it helps so much with like just every day because i actually like it just makes me look like i've actually got brows because my brows are so thin naturally and quite light um so it just makes them look really thick and a whole lot you know darker like they're actually there and then when it comes to doing my makeup, I don't actually have to do much with them. But unfortunately, these brows up there, they're not bad. Like, they're still okay, but it's at the end of... I'm, I'm due to do them again. And honestly, I will link the lamination kit below that I use and the tint that I use. If you do want to see a tutorial on how I laminate and tint my brows, then let me know. Because honestly, it's so easy to do. It's actually just crazy but yeah that is my brow routine it's honestly i'd say not too shabby like it's not it's not too complicated it's literally quite simple um like i say i normally wouldn't have to do as much as what i've done today if they were freshly laminated and tinted but i wanted to do this video for days when they're not like that and yeah honestly it's it's the best I feel my brows have been. I feel like they just look a little bit more natural. I mean, there's nothing really natural about them because no brows look like that actually, but that is the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you wanna see any more videos like this, you know, makeup related or, you know, pampering, you know, how I laminate my brows, tint them, you know. Let me know if you would like to see that. Yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.